is Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final two episodes of Blue Reflection Race. Let's go ahead and get started on episode 23 and 3, 2, 1, go. I am tired. So freaking tired, but I gotta get this done. I wanna take a shower and I wanna go to bed. <laughs> like, y'all don't know. Which is oh, because she was so pure before everything like wait, you know just shit. Because once again, last week's episode was very very dark. Nina, please don't die. <laughs> we only got an episode left. You know, I should have changed into some shorts. Like, up, uh, you know, you know how like you want to be comfy, but you're wearing pants. Yeah, I'm not. I'm comfy, but I ain't comfy, comfy. So, yeah. Probably after this, I'll change in some shorts. Please, for love, that is holy. Kill Uta. Kill her. It is time for her to go. She don't need to be here anymore. Let her go. like oh cuz in a way she's kind of above it oh, that too She got bitch left. Girl, hell yeah, the RA gone ready up. Oh. 
Oh, the color changed! Yeah, the fact that she, yeah. I know. Like, I really thought they would have gave her a chance to be one, but it, it is a little fucked up, even as of, like, the last two episodes of this show. But, mm-hmm. You're there in spirit. Please don't let any of these girls die in this group. So? Mm. Yeah, but I wasn't like this before. She's really done damage. Oh, nope, no. no. Now see, hold up. You know what? Let me say something real quick. Remember that one thing that um Mio and, and Momo's uh were fighting in like episode one. Is that gonna pop up in the last two episodes of this show?
didn't crush me though, I'm upset about that. Girl, that's some quick sand type ish. No. That's the school. Because it seems like the common is where someone has, like, their most desires, memories, like, they're the ruler, quote-unquote, of the area. So, of course, she's going to want it in a place that she remembers. You okay? You scared? What did I just say? What? Oh my God. You can't do this by yourself. See, she says that, and then something happens to her. We're taking each girl down one by one until it's just going to be Ruka and Hiori. And maybe Mio.
Because in a way, that's what Sheena wants. She wants everyone to be isolated just as much as she was and alone and how scared she was. Hmm? You have to go down there. Oh, damn it. No, see? I was right. They're literally trying to divide them up. I hate this. Don't do this. Exactly. So this isn't real. Don't do that. Don't fall for- oh my god. Do not fall for this! That's not her! I fucking hate this. This is a trap. Exactly. She right.
it's fine. At least you're together. Exactly, it was just water. Holy crap, child. All right. All righty. I, I mean, you know, these last, like, these last few episodes, Jesus Christ, they're, they're going in and they're going in hard. All the feelings that was in this episode, Jesus Christ. I, I hate the fact that, you know, Nina was taken out so quickly and such after how, you know, how powerful Nina is as a character but for her to be taken out it's kind of, it kind of makes the most sense you know you're you're weeding them out one by one until there's no one left or there's just you know she no left and such i hate the fact that you know yeah one by one everybody all got separated because they all wanted to be together and defeat Shino by herself, but at the same time you know if you've seen like sailor moon or any other magical girl series where they have to take the characters out one by one until the one who is the leader is by their self and they're at their most vulnerable because they're like, I, I'm stronger when I'm with everyone, but when it's just me, I feel weak. And so I don't think it's like that in a way for these girls because with Hiyori and Ruka's relationship and friendship and bond, they still have each other. But then at the same time, she has her older sister, but it's about protecting someone else at the end of the day. I, whoo, God, like, the the trust that these girls have to have in each other, because yes, they, they almost fell for it, especially with the fake sister, and then Roka f uh, falling for Amidu, like, even though that's not her, because we all know she's laying in the school in a bed right now, but seriously, I don't know how this is gonna end. I mean, I feel like we're gonna... We're going to get a conclusion that I feel like, I, at first, I'm going to be okay with it and I'm going to be satisfied with it, but give it about a couple more weeks when I think about this show the next time, I'm probably going to be like, yeah, I don't really like this ending and such. Um, this is probably going to make me feel how I currently feel with the final season or the last four episodes of the Magical Recorde series. And how the, when Magical Recorde was coming out, it, season one and season two were good. But because of COVID screwing up the final season, of course, that had to be, you know, postponed. And the final episode just aired last Sunday. Um, and how rushed they were, it makes me feel like we're probably going to get something with this. I'm not 100% sure, of course, but it seems like we might go that route. But I have to wait until till I watch the ending. But go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and put on some shorts on. And I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Alrighty, final episode in three, two, one, go. So, I mean, could, could we all agree to disagree that she, you know, is too far gone and that she should just be killed? I mean, because look at her. She was already far gone the first time we saw her in a first form. Now she's really too far gone. Her eyes are pretty, though.
Girls, she's trying to kill y'all. Get out. Of course. Like, that's really going to stop her, though. See? See? Mm. See? This girl is prepared. She's prepared for all the things these three are about to bring at her. You found darkness.
If only she had saved you and continued. Hurry. Mm. This is the only way. They literally just honestly put the budget all in this last episode. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the place her and her sister used to play at. with her, with you. That's why she's so freaking important.
Mm. And that darkness is her mom. God dang it, I'm over here tearing up. Ah, this show.
Finally, we're at peace. We got three minutes left. So yeah, Momo had to be, I mean, not Momo, Neo had to be sacrificed. Have any of you been able to transform? Just you two? Mm, that was Mio. So she's not dead. She's just watching from afar. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Final thoughts on this show. This show was very interesting. I can see why it's very underrated after officially now finishing it. How kind of really getting into like maybe the first two episodes. I knew this series was going to be one of those Patreon shows was going to be very underrated for me that I I wasn't going into this I was not expecting to get a lot of comments on this I did get um one person commenting saying that this show wasn't the greatest and that I shouldn't really watch this and such but when it comes to Patreon requests I can't you know say hey don't want to watch it, da 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 this is that the third, remember, because they pay me. So that's a whole different ball game between me and the person who requests the shows. But honestly, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I had some moments here and there where I was like, what the fuck? And we're really going this way. But I, I like the story. It's different. I mean, do I think the ending was the greatest? Not really. Um, it should have given something else 
rather than that and such. So, I mean, I'm guessing this ending is kind of being like, hey, go play the game to get something else in a way. And probably I'm going to need to do that. Or I'm probably going to have to watch like a big old walkthrough just to see like, oh, hey, here's a better ending on this. But it would have been better, in my opinion. You know, yeah, you have um, Mio making the ultimate sacrifice. She knows, okay, but then it, you're kind of indicating that her sister is dead, but then you get to show us a part where she's not dead and such, indicating that she's still alive, but why haven't Momo, I mean, not Momo, Mio and he already met back up to, together? That's one of the biggest questions now. Then it's like, you kind of already know with like the fact that Uta is still there and she has her ring, that this could all still start up all over again and then that, that they're going to have to go back and be in these roles once again, no matter how many times that, you know, this happens. So, of course, it's like a never-ending story. Um, it could be happy for, like, a couple of months to a year or even two, and the next thing you know, somebody gets, you know, depressed, and it starts all over again and such. So, like I said, a never-ending story. But I still enjoyed it for what it was. It, like I said, it had some good episodes, not-so-great episodes, and some enjoyable episodes. Um, but I thought it was really good. Very underrated, but really very interesting from the premise and stuff. I just wish we got to see more of these characters by this final episode. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards the entire series of Bully Reflection Ray. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for the start of the next Patreon show. I will not tell you what the heck I'm watching. The Patreons already know what the F I'm watching next. All the rest of y'all, y'all are just going to have to wait until next Monday to find out what it is. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.